on the phone that you found that 50 grand that you stole from your father? I thought I had it. Or at least a way to pay him back. Only it fell through. But now I'm ready to go back with you and explain everything to my dad. <laughs> Have you met your old man? I don't think that's gonna cut it. 50 grand is a hell of a lot of money. I'm worth more to my dad than that 50 grand. And you know it. I'm here to get some kid out of trouble. Oh, well, I don't know how you found us, but I'm really glad that you're here. It was us. No other choice. It was either jack your PI's car yeah. or... Yeah, it means steal. I know what it means. Why'd you have to jack a car? Well, because I totaled the new car that you bought me for graduation, but I'll pay you back. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm here to take my car, drive back to town, go to my office, tell security to send a van out here, right? Wait, no, no, no. I, look, I really appreciate you wanting to help, but if Bull sees you, then he might call the whole deal off. Well, if he doesn't see me, the kid might not make it out of there alive. Just let James handle it. Who? James? Yeah, the kid who you're trying to help? No, I thought his name was Nate. Nate? You want to play Cole in the musical? I don't know. It's... Danny's boyfriend. That's why I'm here. Danny. Danny needed my help. I thought you were here for me and for James. Who the hell's James? I'm his best earner and you know it. That's why I had a run. He was never going to let me go. You're breaking my heart. Look, I'm willing to go back. I'll work off what I owe with interest. Okay. But if you give me any more trouble... Oh, thank God. No more trouble, I swear. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have to tell you. What does that look like? You gotta get out of here, Dick. He's gonna kill you if he gets you. He's gonna kill you if I don't get you loose. How did you even get here? I hid in the back of my dad's car. Oh, I got scared. I wanted more money. He asked my dad for half a million dollars. What are you? Don't worry. Your dad will get a piece. So where's your dad now? Don't even ask me why she's here. I don't know. So this money that Nate found or stole... It belongs to James. What does this have to do with you? Dad, this is a really long story, but I'll explain it to you later. Look, I would, I'm really glad that you came to help, but I would appreciate it if you went somewhere else and, and got help, okay? Right now, inside there, that guy is really dangerous. I know he didn't send you here to freelance. <laughs> How about you worry about your own sad self? She somehow hooked up with that guy talking to both. What was that? What? I didn't hear anything. Move. Who is this? The guy who stole your money. This is your other deal? I'm getting it all back with interest. Now, come on. When? Should be here soon. Here I am. Yeah, I came a little early. I like to maintain the element of surprise. Did you know that guy was full? All I know is his name is James and he somehow went into your system. So I got your money here. I'm going to take Nate here. That's my father. If you want the kid back there, you can have him. But this one, this one's coming with me. Okay, whatever. No. No, no, no. We're not leaving without him. I told you to take the car home. Well, I, I just wanted to make sure that James was going to be okay. Oh, so this is James. And who is he to you again? He's... he's a friend. Do you mean to tell me that you left your daughter home alone? You ditched your no-good boyfriend. You risked your life. You wrecked the car I got you for graduation. For some friend? Look, I don't want to interrupt the family time here, but can we get on with it? I want my money. Well, show me this Nate kid. Show me the money. I'll take it to him. He's fine. I saw him. He's tied up. Back there. We go out the way you came in. Look, I'm not gonna leave my dad's sister out there all alone. What are you wonderful? I am not going to leave them. All right, Bull, how are we gonna do this without anyone getting hurt? Simple. James here goes and gets the kid. You look him over, you give me the money, and then you take off and no one gets hurt. Uh, and then you'll leave James alone. James is coming with me. No, then there's no deal. Hey, who's negotiating here? Dad, you're going to give him ten times more than what James actually owes. Look, maybe we should call your dad.
tell him about the deal? I think he would much rather cut James loose and take the money, don't you think? Keep it up, little girl. I'll keep both of them. No, you know what, Dad? Get out your cell phone. James, do you know your dad's number? We'll call your dad. Come on. Let's this do is this. my deal. Either take it or leave it. Look, it's okay, Star. I can handle my dad. You can't go back, James. He'll kill you. Not if I kill him first. Well, hold on. Let's let's just. Can we calm down, please, Star? Thank you very much for your help, but I'll take it from here. <clears throat> now, well, I think you remember the terms of the deal, right? I brought you a whole bunch of money, and in exchange, <laughs> I get the kids, and you said no one gets hurt. So if you're going to kill this kid, we're going to have a problem. It's okay. I'm, I'm not afraid of my dad. Well, I don't know. Anyone who would send a fine, upstanding gentleman like Bull here must be pretty deranged, right? Pretty deranged. Right. right. Uh, so, Bull, um, we should deal with each other, just you and me. Right? Do you have kids? No. Well, take it from me. The last person you want to piss off is your daughter. Okay, so um, let's just keep this between me. Let's make sure nobody gets hurt. And uh, let's make sure that you walk away from this a very rich man. I can't do that. Well, then things are going to get ugly.